Hello there gamers, Loose Gaming here with a brand new video. No drama, no messing, just straight up gaming. Today's video will be a, a tutorial on how to make the uh, lightning bow, storm bow, whatever you want to call it. This one is for uh, Matty. So shout out to Matty because he's not so sure how to build it. So I just thought I'd do a quick tutorial on how to make the storm bow. So start off with the first the ancient bow, sorry, and then what you want to do, Matty, is actually come to the death rate up here. Shoot that. Pick the arrow up. And as you see in the left hand corner, it started the thing, so. What I'll do now is jump past them. And then what you want to do is get see the bonfires there. You just have to light them. If I can actually hit them, just aim it a bit higher. Perfect. This one can be a bit of a pain in the backside to get, but we'll try it. Yeah, we've got it. If you aim just above the mountain top there, I'll, t I'll show you in a minute. I'll just rip these zombies back around. Right. I'll show you where to aim, just to make it a bit easier. Oh, yeah. If you aim just where that thing is there, and then just a bit up about there and you should hit it bang on every time so once that's done that's two of them the next step you want to do is go down to the pyramid room open that And then there's another bonfire there, just at the top of that one part. Now we've got it well, hit it, second shot, not bad. Actually, while I'm down here, I'll just uh, receive that part for Packer Punch. And then go from here. Right, the next part you want to do is a wall run. Um, so you have to wait until anti-gravity is back on. There's pack a punch being built. So just wait for anti-gravity to come on. And what you want to do is war run all across these scorpions or flowers or whatever you want to call them. So it's if you start from this side here and then just run from there right round. You don't have to do any jumps. Just right round all the way. All the way. And there you go, you've it moved it on. Right, the next part of it is here. And what you have to do here is actually just kill five, between five and six zombies. I think it's five, but better to go for six and just kill that. Flex souls, so that's two. We've got two in there already. What I want to do then so we probably need three more zombies. I will probably shorten this video just to um, make it a bit more user friendly you don't want it to go on forever it's quite easily upgradable it's probably the best bow to be honest and it's probably one of the easiest bows apart from the wolf I 
think that's done. Right, so that's done. We killed more than five there anyway. So the next one is a, if you run a, straight across the death ray. Straight across. And there's another canister here. Three bonfires, three electrical chargers. You can use your, your bow if you want, but you just get more points if you use a gun. Yeah. So if I just step like that, I'll just miss that if I can. Then what you want to do, you can actually use that to just jump over if you want. And then jump down to the test site. And the last location for the electrical canister is in this corner here. Yet again, just kill some zombies. You can chest it, or it's charged. Told you it's not many. And then what you want to do, hold the R trigger button down, lock on, you only get one shot at it, like that, jump back, you can go this way, back from spawn, there's probably some easy, easier methods, but this is just the easiest way I find it. Hold the trigger button down again, jump across if you've got enough points or you can walk across. That one. Superb. Then this one. Just want to avoid these. This, like I said, this one's probably the hardest one to hit. But once we've got this one, we're sound. I don't think I've got that one. No, I didn't get it, unfortunately. So what we'll do. We'll it's easy if you're in a team, so Matty, when you're doing this, um, you'll be playing possibly with me or somebody else, so it will make your life a lot easier, instead of just training them round and then taking one shot, so let's have a look, and then you just hit this one, yeah, hit that, superb. And as you see, it's finished. You go back to where it all started there. Press X on it. It'll go up. Little shadow. And it'll drop. See, as you see there. It's dropped the arrow. You pick it up like you would do with any other arrows. do go down to the pyramid room put it in there and then from here just kill zombies yeah easiest thing to do is actually just do use your thing but actually wait Use your bow, but actually wait until they're actually in this little centre part, and then it will be co be collected. If you shoot them on the outside, they won't actually go in. I'll show you what I mean. If they're out here, they won't be collected in here. They've actually got to be in here, or on, at least on the steps. So, just bear that in mind. Ah, uh, that thing. You don't have to kill them with bow. I just find it's quicker and easier just to smash them apart with that. Uh, 
and it's it's done you can hear it being done once it's done you can just put it in like that let's pick another shield up and then what you want to do there we are and then that they are the electric bow So if you, th if you have found this guide useful in any way, don't forget to finger blast that like and subscribe button because it really will help the channel out massively. Um, that completes the guide. Loose Gamer is out.